Okay, I'm calling this lecture 5.5 because I do want to fill out this table of the gases that we have discussed and this table was shown at the beginning of the videotape labeled lecture 5. So let me show you what I've done from that point and I'll orientate you up here on the top across this row we have uh, I know you can see my mouse carbon monoxide and I've actually put the spelling down at the bottom so carbon monoxide radon <coughs> excuse me and then the silo gas is actually made of two gases nitrogen dioxide and carbon dioxide but my column is only going to refer to nitrogen dioxide because if you want to know the parameters for carbon dioxide, look over here in this column. Okay, so there's that. Methane is the first gas of the manure pit gas, and you could also say sewer gases. Then we have hydrogen sulfide carbon dioxide, ammonia, and then I've added, I've never talked about phosphine before, but four children in Texas were killed by this gas, and that's why I'm adding that. I'm recording this early in 2017. So then, the parameter that's filled out so far is air density, the density relative to air, I should say. So if we say air is 1, I filled out these numbers across on this row. And if the number is less than 1, that means lighter than air. If the number is greater than 1, it means it's heavier than air. So carbon monoxide, pretty much equal to air, you know, slightly less dense than air and then look at radon boom 7.5 and you can read the numbers from there okay so <clears throat> here's the thing about this density thing though it's like where can you find the gas you might say radon is always going to be in the lower parts of a building or a home that may be true but that may be false because one thing that always happens a lot of times in buildings is convection, forced convection. That means fans are running, air conditioners, heating, whatever you want to call it, depending on the season. So I've got my little pointer there to radon, 7.5, and you might say that's only going to be found in the basement and only the basement. No, it could be in the attic because of the way the air is being forced in the building. So you can see these numbers here. <clears throat> okay, so now let's go and fill out more of the table, the top part of the table. So colorless. Y means yes, it's colorless. And most of the gases are colorless. And of course you can stop this videotape any, anytime you want. The silo gas is kind of a reddish brown but it's so dangerous by the time you see it it may be too late. Odorless, the only thing that's kind of remarkable is that if there's an N that means it's not odorless and in silo gas I don't have what it smells like but in hydrogen sulfide in the manure pit gases definitely an odor of rotten eggs and then phosphine it's been reported that it smells like decaying fish or garlic I guess those two are very similar then where tasteless is comes out most of the times they are tasteless if it's not tasteless I'm not sure what it tastes like the data didn't say or the books didn't say Carbon dioxide does have an acid taste, I understand. 
Okay, let's fill out some more of the table. The rest of it. Human deaths per year. Now for carbon monoxide, it's quite a range because it depends on if you f count fire-related deaths or just non-fire carbon monoxide deaths. So someplace between 500 and 2,000 people die a year from carbon monoxide. Now what's crazy, now this is recording this in the end of January 2017, just this week two people and their two cats died of carbon monoxide poisoning due to their 3D laser printer. And that's going to be a new one for us, I think. I've never run a 3D laser printer, but I guess it emits carbon monoxide and bam, two people and two cats in San Francisco died this week. Now we're running over to radon. And you might say, wow, 20,000 people a year die of radon gas. Well, as opposed to the carbon monoxide, just to the left of it, that's an acute death. That means like it happens suddenly. The radon deaths are very chronic. It takes years and years for radon to do the do the damage in the lungs that causes its death, but it can be traced back to radon. Silo gas, rare number of deaths, maybe one a year, maybe two. I did tell you in class that you know the silo gas can be formed in the upright silos, bunker silos, the bag silos, but it's very rare. Now the next four columns, you know, all refer to up here, the manure pit gases, which is a combo. Few people die from it a year, but it's always two, three, four, five, six, something like that. They don't have to be on the farm where there's manure pits under buildings. They can be in front of a casino in Las Vegas. Some people have died in front of a casino in Vegas when they went down into the sewer system. Then we're over here, phosphine. I say rare, but then this year, just weeks ago, four children died of phosphine gas that was being released by a chemical that was spread under their trailer house to get rid of mice. Okay, so rare, but we already have four this year. <clears throat> so now is a detector available? That's what I'm looking here. <coughs> Excuse me. So if it says yes, and home, that means you could probably buy it at Walmart or get it easily. So carbon monoxide, of course, you can find those detectors at Walmart. Order them on Amazon.com. Maybe a little less easy to get is the radon, but definitely you can buy a radon detector. It's something you usually expose to your environment in your house and you send it off for some company to read the detector because it is a, it is a radioactive gas, an alpha particle emitting gas, and you need some special equipment to detect it. But all the other gases, there's nothing practical that you can buy, but I did put industrial. You can surely find an industrial detector. It might you might cost you hundreds or thousands of dollars and most of us would never have it. But if you're in some kind of environment, where um, factory, let's say, that's emitting that gas, then you would have a detector. But it's the I means industrial, not likely 
to be bought by ordinary people. Then the sources. Well, in carbon monoxide, I'm over here on the left now, always had fossil fuels when somebody's burning gas, whatever. But then down here I did put the 3D printer, I abbreviated it, and it was a laser 3D printer that killed those, the couple and their two cats in San Francisco this year. What's the source of radon? Always the ground, rocks. It's a breakdown product of uranium. The silo gas is always going to come from silage. It might be upright silo, bunker silo, bag silo. The manure pit gases, you got to be careful because, sure, it can be from a manure pit under some livestock building or in a big, you might call it, slurry tank but also sewers make it. Now over here, the phosphine gas, pesticides. And that was a case in Texas where the four people, the four kids died. Somebody spread some pesticide under their trailer to get rid of some mice. Then somebody else or the same person spread some water which made the gas form faster. <clears throat> okay, that looks good. Thank you.